an emergency, a life-threatening emergency. That's one of the few things that I actually get called in the middle of the night to come and deal with. The guy said, every other person I've ever met whose dog had that died. For anyone that's seen the old movie Marley and Me, this was the condition that that dog had. Non-productive vomiting is one of the main things we see, but if the owners aren't noticing that or don't think much of it, by the next morning, they can be in such grave shape that you, you can't actually save them. If you've got an anxious dog and you know that their parents had this, or they've got a really deep, deep chest, really narrow and long chest, then we actually do a preventative surgery when they're perfectly healthy to try and prevent that from happening in the future. We have a very special guest today, Dr. Mike King. He is a board certified veterinary surgeon at Canada West Veterinary Specialist. Pleasure to be here. Okay, we have one more minute. Should we try to bang out how can I prevent GDV? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. I think that's a good one because it's another one that certain dogs are prone to and it's good to know ahead of time. What GDV stands for is gastric dilatation and volvulus. What that's a fancy term for is the stomach is twisted. So the esophagus comes down, goes into the stomach and then goes out in the intestines. And that stomach twists on itself. So then food inside the stomach is producing gas. That gas can't escape. So you get a bigger and bigger stomach forming. And that also is an emergency, a life-threatening emergency. That's one of the few things that I actually get called in the middle of the night to come and deal with. I actually had one just a couple of weeks ago where I you know, got a phone call at midnight to go in and, and operate. And what we do there is we try and untwist them. Hopefully the stomach's in reasonable shape and we don't have to remove a portion of it or something. And then we actually tack it to the abdominal wall so that it can't twist again. And that's another really important part of it. For anyone that's seen the old movie Marley and Me, this was the condition that that dog had. And so it's really common in Labrador's Golden Retrievers because they're very common breeds. But we think about it in what we call deep chested breeds, meaning those dogs that have a really narrow chest, the greyhound type chest, balls, always things like that, standard poodles as well. So there's a surgical option where it happens, but in order to try and prevent it, there are a few things you can do. One is feeding small amounts more frequently rather than in one big go. But to be honest with you, the, the main thing is to be aware of how risky it is for that individual dog. And the main the main dogs that get this are dogs that are extremely anxious, sometimes fed once a day. Or the other one is that they've had what we call a first order relative have this condition, meaning a parent or a sibling. And so if you've got an anxious dog and you know that their parents had this, or they've got a really deep, deep chest, really narrow and long chest, then we actually do a prophylactic surgery, a, a preventative surgery to tack the stomach to the body wall when they're perfectly healthy to try and prevent that from happening in the future. So if you've got a dog that's really, like I said, deep chested, that greyhound style um, or more standard poodle style uh, chest, it's best to talk to your vet about whether that's something that should be done and can be done at the same time as spaying or neutering often. Yeah. It's a pretty safe surgery to do ahead of time. It's much more risky and concerning when it has already twisted because they are anesthetically not in great shape and can, can do very, very poorly afterwards. So those are the main things that I would say. So a prophylactic surgery called a gastropexy? Is gastropexy, exactly, which means stomach attached or pexied to the belly wall. Yeah. Now there are even places that do it laparoscopically. So. Yeah, I was going to say that. We I actually did one last week um, where we oh, do it minimally invasively. So we have a tiny little incision to keyhole surgery to get the camera in to look around, then another incision to grasp the stomach, bring it up to the body wall and attach it there. So it ends up being something that's pretty low risk and pretty comfortable for the pet. And then we're not having to do a really big surgery on them uh, like we do when it happens as a twist. It's good for people to know that there's a preventative option. You know, somebody actually... <laughs> like ambushed me the other day down because people everyone knows who I am and they showed me a photo of a dog that we saved from GDV and the guy said every other person I've ever met whose dog had that died yeah and yeah their dog literally went home within 24 hours and was fine wow. but um, well, they, 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 that condition yeah that condition has a 20% if you're far from problem. help if you're far yeah. from support when the emergency does happen the longer you wait the worse it gets and um, a lot of dogs are just too far away from a surgeon to yeah. actually be saved so well and the and the other thing about it is that it often happens at night so they've often had a big dinner they go to bed and they they, they often start sort of non-productive vomiting is one of the main things we see but if the owners aren't noticing that or don't think much of it by the next morning they can be in such grave shape that you, you can't actually save them. So that's, like I said, why, why it's one of the few things that I actually get called in the middle of the night to come and operate. I can think of a few cases where, you know, the dog was retching and the owners were sleeping and were just like, I don't want him to throw up inside. I'll just put him in the backyard. 
Yep. And then by morning, it's uh, great. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, okay, well, thank you so much for answering all of our questions. You're really welcome. Very helpful.